My name is Bikano Sikwane. I'm originally from the Northwest. I currently live in Centurion. Um, and currently we are in the workshop of Chak Chili Foods. This is where we make the beautiful Chak Chili condiment. Hi, my name is Tepiso Manyoha and I am the COO of Chak Chili Foods. I think what uh, our brand really stands for is that um, it's about having a product that has the heat as well as a great taste. And um, uh, when we started out, we really were looking at really uh, people who are big on chilies, the heat of the chilies, but one that is not going to literally make you uh, pass out. And that's what people loved, loved this for. And they always loved the fact that it's got a kick. And you know, the whole chuck thing is what really gets everybody excited, you know. The Chuck Norris and his flying kick, and that's what kind of feels like <laughs> when, you, when you have Chuck Chili for the first time. And you're happy to be on this journey with Food Lovers Market? Definitely, definitely happy, excited. Uh, sometimes I wake up with anxiety because, you know, it's so big for us. But uh, definitely excited. It's going to give us a leap, a huge leap. We make one product, it just comes in three different variations. So we have a mild, we have an original, and we have hot. And the most popular one is hot, and hot is very hot. Uh, but over time, we got to learn that every whatever production we're making, we have to double the batch for hot, because it just goes. <laughs> And it is so funny because when people taste it for the first time, they always say, it's so hot, but the numbers are not saying that. <laughs> so yeah, we started out, well, we used to cook in my garage uh, back then in Brodeport, my little garage, and we would sell to um, friends who would take it to work. And then we started in markets, park markets, started selling day, then started going to small little retails. And yeah, now we're here, then we moved into this facility. Uh, what was the process like onboarding as a supplier with Food Lovers Market? So uh, really as soon as Brian gave me that call to say, oh, by the way, are you still interested in <laughs> listing with us? He, he like took us by the hand. He tried to explain the process for us. That made it easier for us because we had never done anything like that before and was patient with us. Um, and now actually getting the product, the product into the DCs as well. I mean, we are always talking to people <laughs> at head office because we don't know some of the things that we've had to know and we've had to learn. So it's been, as much as it's been a big thing, I think we've had support from Food Lovers Market team. What advice would you have for other suppliers looking to list with Food Lovers Market? Well, in the words of Brian Roberts, <laughs> firstly, your product has to be good. <laughs> yeah, so, but um, really it's just to have a few basics in place, um, basics like your health stuff. Um, you have to have a quality product because I know that the buyers keep the products uh, in their shelves. He wants to test and see is going to bomb out. He doesn't like oily stuff. So I think uh, test your product, see if it will actually, if it can stay on a retail shelf. Go grab yourself a bottle of chuck chili from your nearest food lovers market and add a zinc to your meal. <coughs> you are not